the hard drive contains unreleased footage on every trainer in the UPF. That is why I'm making a call to all trainers in the UPF. Join me in bringing about the change we truly deserve. This same footage will be released on the show, as well as all over social media. And I assure you, there's something here on everyone. Yes, he could be bluffing, but I, I, I don't really want to sit around and try to find out. Don Pokemon, you're messing with the UPF. You and I are going to have a chat, and I want the whole world to see it. Because when you mess with the UPF, you mess with the face of the UPF. Hey everyone, uh, Mark Cameron here, UPF World Champion. Uh, so Quadruple E's not in the best mood right now to open the show, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, our main event, we're gonna have the first ever Scarlet Violet battle here in the UPF. Uh, Don Pokemon versus Fenrir. It was Don's choice. He chose the doubles monotype battle, so that's gonna be our main event. We then have Jessica versus Jerome Moonraker uh, before that, so. I hope you all enjoy the show. You'll see me later on, so uh, enjoy the show. Hello again, UPF World. We have an ex another exciting match for you today. We have a three-on-three -three with Jerome Moonraker versus Jessica. Now, Jessica needs a win for her UPF career. And Jerome also needs to even out his win-loss ratio in order to take on the rest of the UPF. Let's see who comes out on top this time. I'm your host today, Mr. Oops. Let's get into this battle. And Jessica's starting out with the Clodsire, getting ready to battle Jerome's Rotom. Jerome's using a Trick Room off the bat to switch those items. Let's see how that works in his favor. Clodsire's making sure with a curse that everything is buffed up. Jerome's going instead, bringing out Great Tusk. It's Jessica's Berloom. And Poison has already been set out. Let's see how that takes effect. And Dragapult has already taken a third of that damage down. It's time to bring out Weevil. Weavile. Possibly for some super effects. And no, Dragapult was already ready, and Weavile is down. It's the first Pokemon down for Jessica. Let's see if she can come back. Botsire comes back out. And Great Tusk is back again on the field. Clodsire now countering with a Stealth Rock. And the Berloom is back, but getting hit immediately with a Rapid Spin and still poisoned. But is he but is healing and getting prepared? And no, Great Tusk takes it out with an Ice Spinner. As Clodsire left with full health, let's see if Jessica can bring this back. It's not looking good. Jerome has got her on the ropes with Ice Spinner, Liquidation Encountering, and another Ice Spinner, and ooh, Jessica's out of this match, and this one goes to Jerome Moonraker. Better luck next time, Jessica. Jerome will continue to take on some wins and then battle more trainers. Um, man, I was kind of disappointed, man. My guy... Kick Rocks was supposed to be a challenger, but now he's two and two. It feels good that I gave you your second loss. So every time you look at that 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 record, you know from yours truly that Fenrir gave you your second loss. So now on to bigger, better news. Don the Pokemon. You want some band of merry men that want to join your coalition because you feel some type of way about the UPF screwing you over. Hell, the UPF screwed me over. You screwed me over with Mark Cameron. Mark Cameron screwed you over, and now you're a broken man looking for redemption. God, it is such a wonderful story. 
But I've got one thing to say to you. I'm not going to join you. No, I'm not joining the UPF. I'm a mercenary. I'm a transcender. I don't follow no one. They follow me. And like I said, if you want to sort this out, if you want to hash this out, I'm free. You know where to find me. Whether it's in UPF, VGC, Pokemon Worlds, hell, even your back garden. We will fight. I want to fight. I'm looking for a fight. I'm looking for a, I'm looking to give you a second loss. Cause boy, I love giving. I love giving L's. I, I gave. I gave my man Kick Rocks his his second L. Now I'm gonna give you your second L by me, yours truly. So uh, give me, give me a message. Send me, text me, whatever. Put it on UPF. Cause I, I'd love to give you a second L. As once a broken man says, you're either perfect or you're not me. See you later. Man, what a loss against Don. But I can't let that stop me. I know I can get my first win. Master Rio, thank you for the kind words. It's nice to have a friend now, buddy. What do you say we have a friendly rematch? But to make things real fun, what if we have a singles three-on-three -three bout? I look forward to your response, buddy. <laughs> Hello again, UPF world. Well, I've made my intentions known, which brings us to the trainers. Will you stand up against those hypocrites? Or will you continue to bow down to your masters and be puppeted like the dolls that you are until they get bored of you and throw you away? Which brings us to Jerome Moonraker. You've had quite the share of secrets sent out to the public already. But I assure you, there is much more out there. Don't forget, you're as much a victim to this corruption as I am. Oh, and as for Femrir, regarding the rules for a battle, I have the right to decide said rules. So let's make it a doubles monotype match and we can test the mettle of one of the three best UPF trainers. But I sincerely hope that you haven't gotten punched in the head too many times to affect your strategy. See you later, UPF world. I don't care what you do with it. Delete it, keep it on the drive, it doesn't matter. We cannot afford to have Jerome's promo get out and have it be in favor of Don. It... Uh, I don't have time for this right now, Mark. Where's Don? If I knew all of my problems would be gone. He hasn't been answering his phone. He hasn't been to headquarters in months. He's got an insider editor editing all of his videos who I cannot figure out. And I, honestly, right now, I just cannot fix this. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I have an idea. Because this has gone on for too long, and I now have to resort to recording my own stuff and putting a hidden camera at my desk, we're going to divide and conquer. You are going to find out who this editor is and stop Don's messages from getting out there. Me? I'm going to go out there, find Don myself, and put an end to this with one final battle. Oh, uh, well, I, I'm not And you know what? Sure. I'm even going to put the championship on the line. Oh, I definitely don't think that we should be doing that. Hear that, Don? I know you're watching. I'm coming for you. If you think you were screwed over before, oh, I'm about to screw you even worse. See ya. It is main event time here in the UPF. We have Dawn Pokemon versus Femrir in a doubles monotype battle where 
Each trainer has to pick one type and all the Pokemon on their team have to share that type. And not only that, but this is also the very first Pokemon Scarlet Violet battle ever in the UPF. So let's get it right underway. This is definitely a good one to be the start of this new era. We have Femir starting off and Don Pokemon. Ooh, very interesting picks from both these trainers. Femir coming out with the legendary Pokemon, Chiyu, Dark Pulse, ooh, on Siru Ledge and is immediately knocked out. First turn, that is going to be very tough for Don to, uh move forward with, but Don retaliates, cross chop onto Chi Yu, getting that one hit KO, it's dead even right now, 5-5, five to five. Stealth Rock coming out from Torkoal, that's going to prove to be crucial in the future, and we have Volcarona for Femir out now, Houndstone for uh, Don Pokemon, Ooh, big moves from Femir Psychic, Ooh, doing about half damage, a little over half. Assurance, not doing too much. If Don wants to keep using uh, Annihilate as his big hitter, he's going to have to make better typing choices than that. Gravar doing modest damage to Torkoal. Ooh, and Don's Pokemon are already very low. And Houndstone is burned, lowering its attack as well. And Nihilate's leftovers help with the burn, um, but not a ton. And both those burns are really going to be a, a crucial factor in this battle. Psychic on Annihilate, and that deals it. Nihilate is down. That is a big hitter for Don. Gone in, in an early turn, and I believe I talked to him. I believe he said that Annihilate is his... Uh, signature Pokemon. Oh, and Houndstone out as well. So Don is, is not on uh, the best page right now. Slacking and Dracloak both in. Interesting choice to go with Dracloak and not Dragapult. Looks like Don is going to Terrastalize the Slacking, making it ghost type. That is a very good choice because now fighting normal types will not affect slacking but I don't think he had to worry about those types so much in this battle especially with Volcarona and um, Torkoal and that also I, I, I guess he had to do that because that matches the monotype Don seems like his monotype is ghost while Femur's is fire um, and while that Terrestrializes up, slacking fits that monotype team. Interesting way around the rules there. Phantom Force coming in on Volcarona, still not that much damage. Maybe Dragapult would have been a better option for him. Heat Wave, ooh, knocks out slacking and takes Dracloak down to below half. Bayonet now in for Don. Ooh, Dracloak down to 3 HP after that Giga Drain. But that Giga Drain is also going to take uh, Volcarona back above half. And Dracloak gets one more turn of safety in that Phantom Force. And finally, Don takes out another Pokemon, finally finishing off that Torkoal. Deltamon, the, uh, I forget the name of that Pokemon. All these new Pokemon. I always have trouble forgetting their names. But he's turning into the Ice type. The opposite of what Don did with his Terrastalization. Don used it to match his Monotype. Femir used it to turn that Pokemon away from his Monotype. Both fit the rules. And Benyet is now taken out by that Volcarona. Dracloak getting in a fan of force, but it, I think it's only up to Dracloak with 3 HP and a Terra Blast will be the finishing blow. And that seems to be it 
Fenrir wins this battle, wins the doubles monotype, 4 to nil. Congratulations, Fenrir. I'm your commentator, Barry Flanagan. Thank you all for watching this main event, and now let's get back to Quadruple E for the closing words. Whew, all right, well, it's me again. It was a great battle. Fenrir, good job on sticking it to Don. Uh, one more battle. Um, but speaking of Don, next time you'll see me in March, hopefully I'll have found Don by then. I'm going to spend this next month looking for him. Uh, so, we'll see if I can if I can locate the big Don himself, who's got a scary new mask. Um, but until then, go to upfworld.com, check out the rest of the episodes, and catch up on all of our Pokemon goodness. And go to upfworld.shop, get some sweet merch like this, epic design, and many more. So, we'll see you all in March. Have a great rest of the month. See you then.